Why hello there, welcome back to my channel. It is of course Chelsea of She Designs Things and in today's video I am going to be showing you a brief overview of some of the integrations that I have been working on inside of my Google site. And I don't mean like simple like integrations. I mean some of the more complicated ones that people are wanting and so i'm super excited to show what i have done in the progress now this video will not be a tutorial on how to complete these integrations um, i may make an advanced google sites uh, tutorial series that will be coming up soon i don't know i haven't decided yet but once i decide um then of course we can <laughs> we can decide if we want to go that route. But for now, let's just take a look at what I have so far. All right, so the first thing I have is literally just a little bit of a layout, as you can see. Uh, nothing integrated here, because this is a work in progress. This is kind of like my mind dump. I always recommend having a site set up that's just kind of where you dump all the, the stuff, like integrations and things that you're working on. Just makes it easier. So here we have the first uh, integration. This is actually Flowdesk. For those of you who are familiar, Flowdesk is kind of like um, MailChimp or any of those other subscriptions where someone signs up and you know you send them a monthly email or newsletter. I use Flowdesk as a part of my photography business, and since I'm so tired of paying my photography. Uh, uh man what's it called <laughs> the website builder that i use for my for my photography website i'm like no gotta change it out so to change it out i'm thinking of just creating a google site since i have started creating really robust things now part of the integrations that i'm doing is making sure that they're all mobile friendly anyone who's ever designed a google site they always show you what it looks like on a desktop they never show you uh what it looks like on a mobile device and we as designers and developers d design and develop for mobile first i.e the smaller screen so i'm going to show you exactly what this looks like now on say a smaller screen so you know you can get your preview in google sites so i'm just going to click the preview and I went too far. <laughs> there we have it. So now here is the preview and I'm going to put this in and hit subscribe. I'm not a robot. Thank you for subscribing. That is my Flowdesk and I just got an email from Flowdesk that says you have a new subscriber. As a matter of fact, let me just go ahead and open that up so that you guys can see. Here is the email from Flowdesk that says, your list is growing. She designs things, joined your, I, I do not, I actually have a do not email segment, <laughs> but there you go. So, um, yeah, Flowdesk actually works. What it comes down to is how you're sizing the embed when you are, um, creating your embed so just keep that in mind now as you can see i know you guys see all of these little little buttons and all that kind of stuff and this is the second part of what i'm working on part of it's the paypal button um and then the other part is saying just do an add to cart so these are all scripts i can do the paypal button i'll show you scroll down without having to do um a script for it that's easy, I can just embed the PayPal button, which I have done, that's how my Google site is. But I wanted to, to add, say, like um, a carousel or uh, make it so that it's not so boring. So something like this, how you see I have like, it's floating on the outside, um, it has a shadow box, and then maybe I wanna do four item cards. And though these are done using a script, they're actually, the button but it's literally a code that i have put in so the whole everything the icon to add to cart all of it these are product cards um i saw a couple product cards that i liked inside of w3 schools and so i made tweaks and adjustments to them and that's how i knew like what wouldn't work so i do have the bad examples in here too the ones where they look like this, which is what you do not want. 
because it, it, it looks unprofessional. Honestly, it looks stupid. It's aggravating. It's aggravating as hell. So I do my best to create things that look like this. Obviously, you want your Google site to be uh, simplistic. So there's other options out there. And I, and I have shown the other options, obviously, here. So um, this is just showing you that e even with the there's four codes that I have for HTML codes that I'm using inside of here to create this uh, card with the transparency because the background is it's transparent. Or if you prefer and you want to use like bootstrap, this is the, <laughs> the, the bootstrap <laughs> on it. It's been a very long day. I'm super tired. All right, so, and then these are the cards. When there are four of the items together, and then I was just playing with the font, I've obviously, as you can see, made them super tiny, super small, but I wanted to, to, to just see how small I could make it, you know? We, we like to make things super complicated around here. Ah, and so this is now with a um, kind of a slideshow that I was considering, because it's not that I don't like the carousel inside of the google site it's just that i don't like the carousel inside of the google site it sucks because if you try to uh use the carousel it, no matter what unless you size your image appropriately it just never works out so it drives me crazy um and then of course this is the uh, product card with a with a slideshow in paypal so i'm like i said working on different things as you see when i clicked on the next image the the bar went away so it's it's a lot of it has to do with the size of this image here um but then i found a way to make that not merit matter as much the goal here is though is to make sure all of the images are the same size i didn't do that for this i just kind of threw them all up in there and and didn't resize or build a frame around the images whatsoever uh, same for here, smaller version using four cards. And then this is another one there. Now here at the bottom is the option on how I have it on my website, which is the, uh, regular, regular Google site and just embed a, the PayPal button. And as you know, my PayPal button are buttons are individual embeds. So they are literally just, if you want to buy this, you would hit, uh, PayPal for your checkout and then let me move this over because I don't know if I'm okay it's my sandbox account <laughs> and then you would just sign in and and then you could check out so these are my checking out buying the naturalist and that's pretty much it so um what else ah uh, yes the other views and I've also been working with making them um Making the image a different style instead of it being a square. Maybe you want it to be like a, a like just rounded corners, or maybe you want it to be round like this one is. Um, it just takes some adjustments to the code, and I've been working to do that. It's just make adjustments to the code here and there, and then also about the flow desk integration up here. Yes, you can use um you can't I. It's not that you can't, it's just that I haven't figured it out on creating the form that um, is a little more complicated. Let's see. So here's a regular, regular, regular flow desk form. And then here's the one where you have the white background. Here's the one with the transparency. The reason they, they did it, they stacked like this has to do with the fact that um, of how I embedded it in, in there, which was completely just threw it up in there, did not pay attention to what I was doing. So you just have to pay attention to, to those things. Um, whenever you are embedding something, you need to adjust the size. And so let me show you, let me, let me show you what that looks like. All right. So I have my, uh, here, here we go. I have this. You would think that if you made it bigger, it would be a little bit better, but no, it actually makes it, makes it not mobile friendly so you see i stretched it bigger and i'm gonna hit preview and i'm gonna scroll down i need to shorten this page up yeah i skipped it so and there you go you see now i have that ugly stupid stupid bar right there and and it has to do with 
how it's written. So I've been actually, when I go on my flow desk, I actually get the raw HTML and then I start tweaking it from there because you can't do anything with the, with any of the other code, not in a Google site, just definitely not going to be what you want. Um, here's one, here's an example. There we have. There we go. So here I have my uh, two next to each other. This one's a slim one. This one's the other one. And now I'm just going to show you what it looks like on a mobile device. Do, 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 do. Scroll all the way down. Mobile device. All right. So that's the one at the bottom with the transparency. Um, it looks fine. Just, you know, people can sign in. Also, this is, this is the next embed, but uh same process same as here same as here but slimmer as you can see when you slim it up it 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 makes it look kind of funny so you just have to kind of make adjustments and tweaks to it i did fine so we have the social media links these social media icons buttons whatever uh let's just take a look right here i'm going to look at mobile because I actually hadn't seen what it was like on a mobile device. All right. So you can see it's loading up sort of there. We have the social media links to the side. So the reason I, I did it down to the side is my goal is to take an image and put it in the background. And then once the image is in the background, all the social media links can just go on top of it and it'll look a lot better these are all active social media links like if i clicked on this it's going to take you to my pinterest bow 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 simple same for instagram twitter youtube obviously uh opens up my youtube channel very new youtube channel yay so literally the link <laughs> the links are there uh there's a this code here is very easy. You can Google it. I'm not going to explain it. But typically when I create Google sites, I don't use um, I don't use embeds such as these because I'm going to have to explain it to someone who's not tech savvy, tech savvy, <laughs> who's not tech savvy. And I really don't want to do that because I just don't. But it is possible. It's it's pretty easy to do, <laughs> even if you're not tech savvy. We'll just see if I decide to make an advanced Google Sites tutorial. All right, so, so far, that's pretty much the only thing, all the embeds that I have been working on thus far. Uh, let's see. Ah, here we go. These are all the embeds I've been working on thus far. You have uh, the the images that are attached to a card, like I said, because the carousel on Google Sites uh, doesn't format correctly, so it just doesn't look as good, like you can't do that. And it just it just appeared better, so I preferred to do it um, on my own. And then me playing with the different sizes and variations and cards and, and just, just making it look better. All right, so that is pretty much all I have for today. Just let me know if you'd like a tutorial on any of these uh, embeds that I've been working on. I, I'm i not going to promise and say that I'm going to make a tutorial because I don't have the time to. <laughs> but if someone really wants to see how it's done, I'm more than happy to share how it is done. Uh, so yeah, until next time, thanks so much for watching. And of course, laters.